Hello and welcome. Today we're going to talk about the case of Jacinta Njoki. Of course, I'm going to tell you about what happened to her. And we're going to talk about what happened right after she passed away first. And then we're going to talk about what really happened to her. And then we're going to talk about four other people. Not much is known about them, but we know how they're related to Njoki. So first it's going to be uh, uh, her second husband, Simon Harold Shields. We're going to talk about her first husband, Amos. We're going to talk about her son and her daughter. Um, all of them which are involved in her case right after she passed away. So we're going to start with what happened right after. So what happened right after is that Amos filed a suit against Simon Harold Shields, who's the second husband uh, to Njoki, after Njoki passed away. Now he had been given, uh, Simon had been given a grant to manage Njoki's estate, but that didn't sit well with Amos, who was the first husband, so he filed a suit. And also uh, Anthony, Jacinta's son, joined in and filed a second suit against Harold. So both father and son are uh, suing Harold and they wanted him to be removed as the administrator as they claimed to be the real or immediate beneficiaries to Njoki's estate. Now Njoki's estate was quite um, a lot, it, uh, it was quite a lot of money, it was worth a lot of money and she had properties, she had really established herself, she had properties and businesses that amounted to quite a lot of cash and you can understand why any family member would want a piece of that. So the father duo, father-son duo felt cut out since they were, you know, they claimed to be the immediate family members and that Harold was an outsider. So that's, that, that was the case they were advancing and in trying to defend himself in court, uh, Amos, as to why he should be the administrator, he claimed that he and Joki were never divorced. They were just separated, but they never divorced and that Harold took advantage of the separation to enter into Jacinta's life. So clearly they were treating Harold as an opportunist who just hooked up with Jacinta just because just because you know and he claimed that he was still the legal husband to Jacinta so I've got a question here why didn't he claim this when Jacinta was alive why didn't he claim this before Jacinta and Harold got married he wasn't interested in her when she was alive but clearly when she's gone now and left a couple of millions he's interested he's kind of interested now so he claimed that they were married under law customary law back in 1981 they separated and now he's filing a suit claiming that he should be the one running the estate because essentially he's trying to say the marriage is still legal and he described harold as being a casual boyfriend that he wasn't a husband but a casual boyfriend that's how he described their relationship the relationship between uh, harold and jacinta and he claimed that Harold was a tourist and did not have a work permit and clearly because of that he has no legal grants to own properties in Kenya that's what he said so he was trying to definitely discredit Harold from running the estate the court acknowledged that you know he you know Amos and Njoki were married they actually recognized that because Amos and uh, Jacinta had spent 10 years together. They had two kids together. So they were recognized as being married, you know, uh, according to the court of law. If you live together for over 10 years, you're basically as a married couple in a way. But he was not able to prove, uh, you know, the formality. Or he was not able to prove because he had claimed about the customary marriage. He was not able to prove that the marriage actually took place. And he was also not able to prove that they were still together he's not able to prove that and he because of that it kind of worked against him so while the case was going on it emerged that you know after Jacinta died Amos because you know he claims to be the husband now he didn't even want to claim Jacinta's body for burial I mean you're interested in her money but you're not interested in burying her I'm like how does that even work so when it came to delivering the verdict, uh, the judge was really harsh on him. Actually, they ruled uh, 
in Simon's favour after, you know, the family members on Jacinta's side uh, provided sauna for David's, uh, proving that Harold had paid the bride price. Essentially, that is a customary feature and that proved that Simon was the second husband and the, clearly the, the first marriage is now gone, dissolved. So when delivering the verdict, uh, the judge was really hard on um, Amos and to quote him, this is what he said, it is a curious feature of this case that Mr. Amos would claim the validity of their marriage with the deceased, but in her death, he did not advance a case to bury her in accordance with the two customary laws. And if, even if I was the judge, I would definitely rule against Amos because you do not want to bury her, you do not want to claim her body for burial, but you're interested in her millions. I'm like, why, 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 why? So another drama that appears from this, you know, after the case was settled is that, you know, the first time Harold is handed the two suits from, you know, Anthony and Amos, he was quite shocked because he had never heard that Jacinta had a son. He didn't know Jacinta had two children. And what's crazy here is when Jacinta was alive, Harold knew her daughter, you know, Jacinta's daughter, as her cousin. He thought that Jacinta's daughter was her cousin. He didn't know that Mary was her daughter. And I'm like, how did he not know? Because how come he didn't know? Like, I mean, how could he not know that Jacinta had two children? Like, how could he marry Jacinta without knowing that she had two children? I'm like, how did he not know? But wasn't there a slip up between the two? Like if Mary uh, one time called Jacinta mom, wouldn't he have known? It, would he have looked at, you know, the face similarities <laughs> but I can understand he's a foreigner and possibly couldn't have known and he doesn't even speak Swahili so probably he didn't know but I feel so sorry for him I feel like he he got really shocked after finding after the fact that Jacinta is married was married before and had two children that's just got to be shocking so enough of that drama and let's go back to the date of January 22nd 2018 and let's find out what really happened to Jacinta. Now, it's reported that Simon was at their home uh, at, in Malindi when Jacinta arrived uh, on a motorcycle. She was, you know, the person, she was not driving the motorcycle. So she arrived there. They had a heated argument about something. It's not, not what they were arguing about. Uh, and then that caused them not to want to be together in the same car because they were leaving the property again. So Jacinta got on the motorcycle and, you know, left the property out. Soon after, Harold was in his car as well and he started following uh, the pair on the motorcycle and he was clearly chasing them. They probably both of them were still furious at this point i'm not so sure why they decided to drive off both of them i mean they could have waited until they come down but they were still furious at each other so simon is following the pair on the motorcycle so he's clearly chasing them every turn every corner he's following them so they tried to veer off the road to avoid him but uh, he would not he would just follow them everywhere so Finally, you know, the driver managed to get onto a footpath trying to escape the car, but that was in vain as, you know, as Harold, you know, followed them there as well. And, you know, when they were on the footpath is when he knocked them over and they fell. Now, the driver, I don't know where he fell, but Jacinta fell into a ditch and emergency services were called and they rushed her to the hospital and they tried to save her. Unfortunately, they were not able to and she died from her injuries, which were um, head injuries and blood loss. And that's how Jacinta died that day. So this is what is debated here. Was it an accident or was it a murder? Did he really intend to kill Jacinta? Or did it happen when he was just angry, possibly trying to maybe scare the pair on the motorcycle and run them over? Or maybe it was just clearly, I don't know what it was. I don't know whether it was an accident or murder. 
Uh, but at first, when it happened, the traffic police actually charged him with dangerous driving, causing death. I'm not so sure whether tra the traffic police. I'm not sure whether the traffic police proceeded to argue a case against Simon. But um, while that was still going on, well, the DCI got involved and they told the traffic police to withdraw their case so that they can pursue a criminal case against Simon. So, and the DCI claimed that after re-recording of statements, everything amounted to murder. And that's a very big claim there from the DCI. So maybe they have some evidence against Simon, but I don't know. How are they going to be able to differentiate as to whether it was an accident or murder i'm hoping the witnesses are going to be credible but i don't know but maybe they've got some evidence that proves that that proves this i don't know but that's what people are trying to debate was it an accident or was it a murder i don't know but if you have an idea whether it was an accident or a murder please comment down below and yeah if anything happens or is it, if there's any update on this case I'm gonna let you know so that's it from me today so and um, from all of this we shouldn't forget that even after all this drama we lost Jacinta and I think that's the most important part here we should remember that the person who lost her life that day was Jacinta and we should celebrate her life um, in whatever in every way we know possible and we should not forget her among all this drama so thank you all for listening today. Thank you so much. I am going to be with you next time. Thank you all for joining me today. I really appreciate it. Thank you.